This thing is small, weird, ugly, looks nothing like a real gun, but I'm gonna give you five reasons why it's become my new favorite VR gun stock. So this is the San Lackey Mini Magnetic Gun Stock, and it is effectively two bits of plastic, a two magnets, and a pole. And we've all seen these wonderfully huge, big VR gun stocks with like shoulder butts here and lots of moving bits and lots of strange suckers that you have to kind of shove the, the pads in. And this is two bits of plastic, two magnets, and a pole. And I'm gonna give you five reasons why I think the San Lackey Mini Magnetic Gun Stock might possibly be the best one. It does have its drawbacks and I'll mention them towards the end of the video and perhaps there is no kind of perfect option, but this is the one I keep finding myself going back to and I do have a couple of other kind of gun stocks, but this is the one that I tend to use the most often and I'm gonna to explain to you the five reasons why. So reason number one is it's just so easy to pull the front bit off. Just with a simple kind of forward little motion like that, you are detached and you can go from being in a rifle situation bang 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 bang, bang to to whatever to dual wielding a pistol to um, a single wielding pistol to grabbing a grenade and throwing it to putting health to activating menus to grabbing something from your from your backpack to just pointing and posing and generally kind of like yeah i'm celebrating and you can just go straight away back and the reason why it is so easy to do so is because the back of it is this kind of solid piece where the pipe goes through it but the front piece is this open piece and what that means is is that the pole is completely attached here you know you can move this around you can make a kind of a throwing action you can move pretty fast but you can with the open piece you can just kind of click onto that and the magnet is strong enough that it will stay on now i wouldn't kind of make a grenade motion now because obviously it's a magnet and it could go but it's strong enough that you can let go if, if you if you wished and i think that quick detachability for me is the key reason why this mini gun stock is my favorite gun stock because it means i don't have to play the entire game with one weapon type now of course there are other games where you will literally want to spend the whole time with a rifle in which case maybe one of the bigger ones will be better for you but in any kind of game where you want that versatility to go very quickly between the two this is the one i would choose and the second reason i like it is the opposite of pulling it off it's putting it back on now i'm sure we've seen other bigger gun stocks which are very good but when you try and put them back on you you see this guy he's got a strap on and he's kind of not he's got a strap on he's, he's got a strapped vr gun stock and he kind of picks this whole thing up kind of scooping it and then he's kind of like ferreting around and he's trying to find it and he eventually does and then if you've bought one of these you'll know that it's not nearly as easy as it looks in the videos and you're there kind of going i can't find it i can't find the thing because obviously you've got the headset on as well and you can't find it whereas this one because it's just this open magnet thing it's really easy to find and I mean I, I can demonstrate now by closing my eyes and kind of going for it and it's pretty good you know it, it, you will miss it from time to time but whereas the other ones it says or oh, has a learning curve of 90 minutes or two days or whatever this one really doesn't have a learning curve at all because it you can you can just connect to it just kind of slot in with these powerful magnets which kind of pull it in as well which is so nice which leads me to point number three is that when you attach it one of the things that makes it so easy to attach is you can attach at any point which gives you more versatility so it means i don't have to be in exactly the right place and i know it's making some loud clicks here i should probably move it away from the microphone sorry it it, it you you've got this flexibility of where you attach so just for argument's sake here i've got my uh kind of assault rifle style weapon here hands are kind of separate and it's just so easy to just clock it in there and obviously by pressing grip I can kind of grab the gun and it, it literally it feels kind of as natural as it can feel you know I'm, I'm just kind of putting my hands together and it doesn't really matter if I end up there or whether I end up there or they end up there you know it, it's just clicking in you know and even if like there I kind of slightly hit the side it's just gonna slide in very very easily uh, with just kind of a, a little um, wiggle and some of the other ones have said you know they have like 90 minutes to get used to these you know you'll be used to this in 
in five, you know, if, if that. Um, and the other advantage here, if I can kind of show you here, so when I want to naturally grab this gun at the end, I'm going to want my hands about that far apart-ish. But then if I want to change to, say, this SMG, I'm going to want my hands a lot kind of closer together. In fact, you kind of hold it down there, but, you know, you, you're going to feel like you want your hands closer together, and this gun kind of allows you... Um, to do that if I kind of swap here and again here if I want to kind of you know it allows me to have this kind of very close feel at the same time allows me to have this very kind of distant feel um, without needing to change accessories or kind of spend ages kind of moving things apart or, or, or further or kind of, kind of closer together and you can it's very easy to just kind of split apart you know I'm dual wielding and I'm, and I'm back to my assault rifle you know it's it's well, I was going to say seconds, but it's not even really seconds, is it? You know, it's just that, and then it's that. And, you know, we're, we're locked in with it with a gun again. It really is very kind of versatile, and no matter how... Oh, wah! <laughs> so then it really does just come down to your personal skill um, or not um, with, a, with a particular um, weapon or how you might want to use it or hold it or or whatever whatever it might be so as you can tell um you know i'm a fan in fallout 4 vr they have this kind of big minigun where you kind of hold it from the top and you kind of hold it from the side and because this is a magnet i can just slide to kind of one side and kind of always have this kind of big like chugga, 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 you know type thing so almost whatever the weapon you can get a realistic position for your hands where you feel comfortable now of course in a real gun you don't hold it like that you hold it like that you kind of cup the gun don't you um but as far as i can tell none of the gun stocks do that and to be honest this is more comfortable you know rather than having my hand out like that which i've got to kind of flex my whole kind of arm out this is a, a more comfortable way of, of, of holding um, the weapon. Now, there are a few weapons that are longer than this, but I'll come back to that in the disadvantages. So advantage number three is you can just leave this attached. It is light enough and small enough that I could basically play a game that is almost completely pistols and just on occasion thwack it together and create a rifle. Also, you can unscrew the the pole and you, you'd have to take your VR headset off to get to do this, but you can unscrew the pole and just leave these accessories attached and play any other game you want. Now, it does extend the top of this, so if you're doing some spectacular uppercuts, there is a slightly more chance that you're going to thwack yourself in, in the head. But for most games, most of the time, this adds no weight at all. You can just leave these attached, which means the only thing you need to do when you want to play a first-person shooter it's just grab the pole and screw it in, which is like a 10 second job rather than having to kind of in install and, ex and um, take off all these kind of extra equipment. In the end of the video, I'll show you how you in insert these. But my point being is you can more or less put these in and forget about them. You know, play any game you want, any genre you want, and just add the pole when you want to play a shooting game. And advantage number five, which nicely links to that point is you can just use this as a way to add a bit more weight to your left hand. So if you are playing a game which is mainly pistols, so something like um, Half-Life Alex, for example, and you just want to feel that gun in your hand, this will do that too. You know, this is a pistol and a, it's a kind of a rifle attachment. You can use it for things like kind of racket sports as well, and I've tried it, but I have to admit, I, f I feel that it, it's too, a little bit too heavy for that. But you can kind of push the pole at any point through it. So if you just want that extra weight for any reason, if you kind of balance it like that, it's not a bad racket at all. So for those games where you just want a little bit more weight in your hand so you can feel that you've really got something there, the, the mini get magnetic gun stock will do that for you as well. However, there are three things that I think do hold this um, device back. So let's talk about them. So disadvantage number one is, is that there is no shoulder butt on the back of this thing. And so if you're looking to play a sniper game or you're playing a sniper style character and you really want to pull in here and pull in hard to get that really steady gun to get that accuracy then of course you can't do it with this however just having the two controllers together does give you a lot more accuracy than you would 
otherwise. So if having the shoulder butt is 100, then this is probably like um, a 70. And I think what you kind of gain though by not having the shoulder butt is this flexibility. You know, I can move this like this. If I had a shoulder butt here, I'd be punching myself in the face repeatedly. Um, and you know, there are games even when you, you, you know, so say I have the whole thing attached here and I kind of just want to maybe activate a menu or all those kind of things. The shoulder thing is always in the way. And even if you detach your controllers from it, it's kind of hanging from your neck. So it's a choice. You don't have that shoulder the butt but you gain the advantages that I've outlined in the video and I think for most games for me this these advantages is better than the shoulder butt you know maybe if I was playing you know a fallout game and I'm literally a sniper 100% or maybe I'm playing even playing was it elite sniper VR you know those might be the couple of games where I really want that that um that shoulder butt but I'm talking you're talking those kind of niche scenarios um for that so disadvantage number two is that this is about six inches long in some games the gun barrel is lo a lot longer than this so for example um, in this game if I put my hand here grip onto the thing and then press the grip button it automatically moves me to there which is great so it works it's fine but in other games you actually have to kind of be within a certain window here so contractors for example I had some weapons where I just couldn't quite get far enough I could do a workaround what I could do is I could grip it and then click in but it's it's an extra kind of step and you've got to kind of be aware of um, like what's happening. So if if only this thing had a couple of extra inches, and let's face it, a lot of us want a couple of extra inches, um, it would be able to kind of deal with that as well. But if it was a couple of extra inches long, longer, then it would be heavier, it would um, be not quite as versatile, you might find yourself thwacking a wall a little bit more, because anytime you kind of lengthen your gun and you go near a wall, the, the Oculus picks up the controller, it doesn't pick up the, the extension that you've got on the, uh, the kind of controller. So there are obviously disadvantages if you lengthen the device as well, and it would also put more pressure on the kind of the plastic housing here by putting more weight there. So again, it's do you actually want it to be longer or not? But it is a, something I've come up in a couple of games, so I thought it was worth mentioning. My last disadvantage is purely aesthetic. This thing is ugly. It looks nothing like a gun and it doesn't have any kind of cool little thing to kind of look through and it doesn't have a nice little kind of like thing on the end that you kind of shoot out of but I have to say I don't care and I don't care for one very simple reason which is that when I've got my VR helmet on I can't see and so I've, I can't see this thing so I've seen lots of other gun designs that really look beautiful like they look like proper guns and you kind of pick it up and you think wow this thing looks cool but you can't see it you've got a headset on you can only see what the game's designers have coded for the gun so I get why this looks like two bits of plastic two magnets and a, and a, and a pole and why that might put some people off but at the end of the day what I want in VR is something that works something that really just feels good and when I put the headset on I am utterly immersed and I'm utterly immersed no matter what this thing looks like I could paint this controller pink this controller green stick two clowny ears on the top of this and it wouldn't make any difference once I put the headset on but if aesthetics matters to you then you probably want to go for one of the other um, ones they've got on their website or, or go for one of the other ones as, as well. So putting the San Lackey mini magnetic gun stock together um, is very very simple. Um, you basically get your controller and you get the weird shaped piece of plastic and you just kind of bend use the flexibility of the plastic to just bend it ever so slightly slot it in and then just kind of push it down until it clicks and then just look around the edge to make sure it's clicked in and it, and it has. And, and it's exactly the same with the other one and I'll show you the kind of the removal process. So again, you just kind of bend it slightly in and kind of just ease it up on one side and ease it up on the other and out it comes. And if I kind of show you, if I move this closer to the camera, you can see that there's this kind of ridge on, on the top of it, you see that kind of ridge there? And the advantage, I know it's slightly blurry, but I'm sure you can see that ridge. And what that ridge does is when you're kind of putting it back in, is that you it gives you that kind of click it snaps it, it snaps into place because the ridge goes to either side of the actual um, oculus kind of controller um, itself now some people have said that one of the problems with um any kind of vr gun stock is that it stops you from being able to kind of see the controllers i think 
I've had a little controller glitch like maybe once or twice with in about 40 hours of play with these things um, and, you know, and if it disappears you, you know just move it to one side and it'll kind of pick it up again but there's very very little that's blocked from the Oculus being able to see um, these controllers with this um, accessory and I think that's you know, really important that, 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 that the controllers can still track. And then you just get the pole and you're just gonna screw it in there and it takes um, a couple of seconds. So there you go. Have I persuaded you that this mini little ugly thing is in fact the best VR gun stock there is? I will put a link in the description for, to where you can buy it from. And the, the gentleman, uh, the team that made it have even put the parts for this up on, uh, is it Thingverse or Thingiverse? So you can even print this out yourself um, if you would like to do it that way. Um, I ordered mine um, from him. Um, took a, I think it took a couple of weeks to arrive because it was an international bit of shipping. But I absolutely love it and I loved it so much that I actually bought a second longer one as well, which I will review in a future video that even has the aforementioned rifle butt as well. So if you'd like to see that video, then do let me know. And likewise, if you think you have a VR gun stock which is better, or you've bought one which you prefer more than this, let me know in the comment section and tell me why you thought yours was better, and let's get a dialogue going. Thank you so much for watching, and please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you soon. Take care, bye-bye.